Hi everybody. Welcome to Ordinary Differential Equations, the mathematical framework and tools for understanding, modeling, and predicting anything that moves. Hi, welcome back to Lecture 2 of Chapter 2, where I'm going to discuss some special types of solutions of ODEs that frequently arise in applications. Okay, there are four types of solutions of ODEs, and I'll be careful to talk about whether they're valid for just autonomous or both autonomous and non-autonomous equations. They are equilibrium solutions, periodic solutions, and heteroclinic and homoclinic solutions. Now, equilibrium solutions often go by different um, different terms. For example, they could be called fixed points, and I'll occasionally use that term. Um, often you'll hear the, the terms critical point and singular point. I don't like those for a number of reasons. And in biological and ecological applications, sometimes you will hear the term rest point. So you have to be prepared for all of these terms for uh, the same concept, but in this course I'll be talking about equilibrium solutions and occasionally fixed points. Then we have periodic solutions and heteroclinic and homoclinic solutions. So a definition of each. Equilibrium solutions. A point in the phase space, x equal x bar, that means it's a constant, that has a property that the vector field vanishes on that point, is called an equilibrium point. And that makes sense. It means it does not change in time. It's a fixed point. Okay, these are not as commonly uh, studied for non-autonomous systems. Nevertheless, they can occur in this way, but a bit more uh, unusually in applications. But we'll get to that a little bit later. So here's an example of uh, autonomous and non-autonomous equation where x equals zero is an equilibrium solution. Okay, now, periodic solution is what you think it might be. It's a solution that is periodic in time. And we can have the same definition for, for both autonomous and non-autonomous systems. So, we have a solution and it's periodic if we can find some constant, uppercase T, positive, so that the solution repeats itself after that period has elapsed. Now, if something, if a solution is periodic with period capital T, it's periodic with period capital 2T, 3T, 4T, and so on. When we're talking about periodic solutions in time, we generally restrict ourselves to the smallest period so that this equation or condition is satisfied. You know, trivially, trivially, if you think about the definition of equilibrium point, they're periodic, right? They repeat in time. But that's a trivial case in this sense, and we don't uh, generally include them in this definition. Okay, homoclinic and heteroclinic solutions. Uh, this is a big subject. For equilibrium points and periodic solutions, I could they had a, a fairly clean definition for both autonomous and non-autonomous systems. Um, I'm going to restrict myself to autonomous systems for, to discuss this concept. Um, it's a little bit tricky in the non-autonomous case, although it can be discussed in that case. Um, also, uh, well, let's let's talk first. Talk about um, heteroclinic and homoclinic solutions associated with equilibrium. So let's pick two equilibrium points, x one bar and x two bar. We say that a trajectory is heteroclinic to x one bar and x two bar if as t goes to plus infinity, it approaches one of the points, I'll call it x2 bar, and if t goes to minus infinity, it approaches the other point, I'll call it x1 bar. So these are trajectories that connect, in some sense, different equilibrium points. 
if the two equilibrium points are the same, we say that we have a homoclinic connection. Now we could generalize this in a lot of different ways. Okay, we could say, suppose we had uh, two different periodic orbits. We could talk about orbits heteroclinic to periodic orbits or homoclinic to periodic orbits. We could have one equilibrium point and one periodic orbit. And we could talk about a trajectory that in one direction of time approached the periodic orbit and in the other direction of time it approached the, the, the equilibrium point. A big subject, homoclinic and heteroclinic solutions. Okay, let me say something about terminology. You know what I mean by a solution, a function of the independent variable that satisfies the equation. But other phrases or terms are often used. For example, trajectory or orbit. Technically speaking, there's a slight difference between the, the, the term trajectory and orbit, but it's generally ignored and often solution, trajectory, and orbit are used synonymously. So I like trajectory quite a bit. So we talk about homoclinic trajectories, heteroclinic trajectories, orbits to uh, homoclinic orbits, heteroclinic orbits, periodic orbits, um, equilibrium trajectories. That's a little bit weird because they don't move. You think of a trajectory as something flying through phase space or a curve in phase space. Very picturesque language. Okay, that's all I want to say about uh, these particular types of solutions, equilibrium, periodic, homoclinic, and heteroclinic, we're going to see them a lot in this course. In fact, we're going to find a better way of characterizing homoclinic and heteroclinic solutions once we get to the notion of stable and unstable manifolds, but that's still to come. Okay, so next time I want to talk about a very concrete example about how we analyze it completely in the sense of Poincaré's vision for geometrical, geometrically understanding vector fields in phase space. And this will open up a lot of different ways of looking at ODEs that will occupy us for the rest of the course. Okay, see you all next time. Bye.